If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm be going over it. Wildcard Wednesday. The big AP update that did just go live, or well, they did release all the info for, as well as, of course, the heavyweights that do come as the Wildcard Wednesday cards. Guys, before I get into the video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that Odie bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, of course. And if you guys need coins, head on down below to my sponsor. Pick up some super cheap coins. So many good players you can pick up right now with coins. And of course, super cheap. Super cheap on that site. But guys, we have a big potential a few big weeks coming up shortly after this. This may be one of the final weeks of the slower period of Mutt. So be prepared. Get your solos done. Get all the stuff you need to get done now. Because here's the thing, guys. If you guys don't already know... Mud always has a good August because it's a new game, right? It's a new, it's a new game for everyone. Then September is usually pretty slow. If you guys don't play Mud, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. September is a slow month because Mud is very tied to the seasons of life, you know, like the holidays, everything that goes on in real life. Mud's very tied to that. And September is like that one month that's just all around for so many reasons. Not a good month for anything. Uh, it's back to school for a lot of people, or at least the first few weeks of school for some people. So you're distracted with learning your new schedule in college, your new schedule in high school, your homework. Um, new friends you're making hang out and then once you get like towards like October you start to get your handle of your schedule and you know like okay every Monday through Friday I can play from like 7 to 9 because I can usually get my homework done by 6 and eat dinner by 7 and I gotta be in bed by this time so you usually have a schedule by then not to mention guys also another big factor of that is that September also 2k comes out FIFA comes out COD will be coming out shortly. A lot of new games come out. It's, and also, it starts to get colder. So what happens when it gets colder, people start coming more indoors. People stop hanging out so much, riding bikes so much. People get inside, and that's more of a gaming season. And then Halloween starts, and more. there's no holidays like that in September that would be tied to a promo, let's say. Um, so that, that's just a big reason for it. But yeah, expect a lot more to start coming near the end of this week, towards the beginning of October, maybe some announcements. And that should just start being when the mud season really starts to roll. That's typically how they handle that. But guys, without further ado, let's go check out some of the heavyweights, and then we will finish off showing you guys the new AP updates and all that stuff as well, with some pretty, um, some pretty noticeable changes, like some pretty things that you guys will actually care about. So let's start first with the heavyweights, and for the first heavyweight that uh, will be the highest overall, actually, we'll start at the top. We got Ryan Kelly, center for the Colts. He's going to be the 90 overall heavyweight for today. 85 strength, 89 awareness, 91 pass block, 90 pass block power, 90 pass block finesse, 87 run block, 87 run block power, 85 run block finesse. Honestly, I'm a bit underwhelmed. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm underwhelmed. And that's primarily because my center, I focus primarily on run blocking. And that's really because you guys play mud. You know, at the end of the day, linemen sometimes don't have that much of an effect, right? And I especially notice a good pass blocking center doesn't really matter because typically the center can just double team down or take on a like Typically, the my cackles, I care about pass blocking, right? Because they end up in those one-on-ones against the best, fastest pass rushers in the game. Centers typically might be on a defensive tackle. So even if he lets the defensive tackle get through, I can scramble around. He's so slow. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm more concerned about when in the run game, you notice a bad run blocking center because they come off they come off and pull up to the, the, the linebacker. They double team to the left, the right. They shed off to the side. All that stuff is going to matter more to me. So him being a bad run blocker and oh, not bad, but like he, he'll be good if you get him for free. But him not being a primary 90 run blocker, I'd prefer to switch those stats. 90s across the board run blocking, mid 80s pass blocking. But the awareness will be a 90, which is really good for a center, which is supposed to matter. 78 excel is pretty good as well. The speed's not the best. Impact blocking 90, 87 lead block. All around, I'd say he's an average, above average center, but I wouldn't say like you have to go get him. I want a threshold. In my opinion, I'll take any threshold run blocking center and just stick with him for the, the foreseeable future. And he's just not that guy. Next, guys, we have a few more. We actually, we have, well, we have the rest of them, right? So keep going over here. So we do have Andrew Norwell, I believe, as one of them. Now, if you guys don't already know, um, this should be five of them. You guys know the deal. Heavyweights typically isn't, I'm going to be honest, it's not my favorite one. Heavyweight, it's not usually my favorite drop of the week. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far to say it's my least favorite. I typically, with heavyweight, like this year at least, with Wildcard Wednesday, I'm a big fan of, you know, seeing... The rising stars and players with like crazy speed like they've been doing rising stars pretty good so far i like the way they've done it i like the way they've done a few things so i do want to see more of that but guys andrew norwell very well rounded high 80s run blocker high 80s pass blocker overall gonna be a pretty good left guard again when it comes to left guards i care more about run blocking but he is higher than uh kelly but again he, again he's not a 90 threshold kind of guy across the board so i wouldn't be like putting all my chips in for him 
Next, guys, we have Michael Pierce, defensive tackle for the Vikings. He is going to see 67 speed, 84 excel. This is what I mean. These are the guys you're going to see on guys like Raw Kelly. And in my personal opinion, these aren't guys that are going to get to the quarterback really fast. They'll be more of a run stopper, exactly, which is why I care more about run blocking. That's what you're, typically defensive tackles are, you know, run stop first kind of guys. But uh, 89 strength, you know, that's good. 85 tackle, 86 play rec, 90 block shit, 85 power move. All around going to be a pretty good he's gonna be a good run stuffer but i wouldn't i don't think he's gonna be a guy you're going out for either and that's kind of what happens heavyweights start off really good start the year but as we get better players in this game like legend dts and players that have speed and can pass rush and do all that you start to realize like okay these typical heavyweight guys aren't gonna be it and Dama Kung Su, 69 speed 81 excel and here's the thing with Su, you cannot play him at end this year scrambling is too easy ends containing don't work as well as you'd maybe like it's really easy to outrun ends so you do not want and Dama Kung Su chasing your quarterback down i would recommend you put him at dt now, with 90 strength, 90 play rec powered up and chem dub and everything, with 90 block shed and 88 power move, he will be a very, very good defensive tackle. Now, if you care about the overall drop, impact block 90, then maybe you don't play him there. 90 hit power, he's a really, really good defensive tackle. You know, hands in the dirt at the nose guard position over there. He has some weight on him. He has some strength. He's a much better, in my opinion, defensive tackle than he will play for you as an end because he's just too slow for the end. But I feel like I feel like people can acknowledge that pretty, pretty safely. Um, with Taylor Motan for the or Martin, for the uh panthers 84 strength 88 awareness low strength 91 pass block 87 pass block power 90 pass block finesse now he's a good card because of course powered up and everything he will have all above 90 pass block and really close pass, pass block power but he also gets 90 run block and 90 run block uh finesse not to mention he'll be a 90 overall he'll be pretty much threshold across the board the only thing he's gonna struggle with a little bit is maybe the power game which maybe a lot of you guys don't even run power right um a lot of you have probably run zone schemes so he's actually really good he's a tackle which means i care about the pass blocking which he does get and he also gets the run blocking he's very good i would not mind having him at my right tackle spot powered up for quite a while he gets the threshold i care about a lot so that's really not bad at all and then as we scroll on down to the bottom here right we had uh so for the week we had uh, taylor Matan, pierce and dama kung su andrew norwell and we're missing someone who is the final card for the week that we're trying to see here? Oh, and it was the Kelly. So we have all five done, guys. Now let's head over to the AP updates. All right, guys. So right here, you can see this was the AP update from last night. You probably have seen this already. So if you guys already have, you know, screenshot if you want to read some stuff. Some pretty simple stuff. Pass lead elite has been added to improviser and scrambler QB. It unlocks a 93 overall for scrambler and 90 overall for improviser. Through AP for both archetypes. Um, both offensive and defensive AP have been increased from 12 to 14. Human joystick to improvise a QB is unlocked at tier 396 overall. So I imagine the guys that pretty much not, the problem is Vic probably won't get an improviser, probably get scrambler. Maybe like a Steve Young, a 96 overall Steve Young potentially get it, but that 94 agility is gonna be tough for him. Uh they lowered the human joystick as well for 95 overall and 93 agility on scrambler quarterbacks. So yes, they're preparing for a Vic, in my opinion. At a 95, or they'll give us a 94 overall Vic, and then you got to power him up to 95, but he may get human joystick, which will be, I don't know how human joystick might feel on next gen, but it's got to it's be a crazy difference, right? Uh, low overall unlock spin cycle and juke move for Infrazer QBs, and inside dead eye increased to 5 AP for field general and strong arm. Pretty crazy. Uh, halfback grab and go has been lowered for elusive and receiving backs. It's now 90 overall for receiving backs and 90 overall 90 agility for elusive halfbacks. They lowered tank on, they lowered the tank on power halfbacks. All you got to do is be a 93 overall, 93 trucking now. You can see all the stuff here now one of the most important things here that i really want to go across is going to be well short in elite and mid in elite are now two ap across the board for wide receivers and tight ends which people were really using like you know they were really liking that and then oh by the way human joystick for all halfbacks unlocks at 95 overall 93 agility for elusive receiving backs and for power halfbacks 96 overall 94 agility so it's gonna be a little bit hard to get it on power backs but not really it's just gonna take like one more week of extra overalls or something and they lowered the AP from 2 to 1 on running back apprentice for all halfbacks. And that's important because a lot of people were loving running back apprentice. And that's a big one. Post up is now 2 AP for all positions. It did go up from 1. Now, apparently it was going to be 3, but then they brought it down to 2, which is a lot better because a lot of people use post up. Now, 1 was maybe too easy. 3 would have just cut you. Let's say you were using, you know, 4 post ups and they changed to 3. That's all your AP. So you have to go down to 1. So I'm happy. And that may have just changed the meta entirely, right? If they made it 3, you, may, you maybe don't want 1. Maybe you want 3 to 5, right? And they made honorary linemen for tight ends, blocking tight ends to 2 AP, which is good as well. Especially if you guys play Mutt Squad, you can manually use her, which I've heard is pretty OP. But that's pretty much it for this AP updates and changes. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.